in process. Welcome to the Sunday evening devotions. This is Sunday, December the 18th. Uh, welcome to everyone. This is a devotional service of the Ruthven Pastoral Charge. We have two congregations as a part of our pastoral charge, Olinda Ruthven United Church in Ruthven and Trinity United Church in New California, both in the Kingsville area, both in Ontario, Canada. A welcome to everyone whenever you're looking at this video. We have on our pastoral charge our Christmas Eve service, which will be at seven o'clock. And this year, our Christmas Eve service uh, will be at Olinda Ruthven United Church. Again, seven o'clock. Everyone is welcome. Then on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, we will have our uh, Zoom service, uh, and um, again, everybody's welcome at 10 o'clock, and you can check the notices on the Ruthven Pastoral Charge for the connection links for the Zoom service on uh, Christmas morning. And then on New Year's morning, the following Sunday, January the 1st, we again have a Zoom service at uh, 10 o'clock, and everyone is welcome. Again, check the Ruthven Pastoral Charge notices for the link to the Zoom. Um, again, everybody is welcome. And so we begin our service this evening with uh, focusing on uh, Christmas. We have the skit guys offering a skit. Hey, neighbor, you need a hand? I'm, I'm good, thanks. Don't worry, I'm coming. Santa's little helper's on his way. Hey, ha <laughs> ha. So you got the star that'll guide Chris Kringle to your chimney. Good move, my man. Oh, uh, no, it's the uh, star, star of Bethlehem. Right, yeah, Bethlehem, North Pole. Same thing, right? Oh. Nope, uh, no, uh, uh, sorry, it's the uh, the star that you know the Magi. Right, Magi. What is the Magi? I found something on the web about emojis. Check it uh, out. Uh, the Magi, the, uh, the the wise men who came to see the Messiah, the the, the Christ, the uh, Son of God. Then he would grow up to become Santa. No, no, no. He's gonna grow up and he's gonna pay for the sins of the world. Guess that'd be a pretty hefty price tag, huh? Hmm. Yeah. That's why it's called Christmas. christ -mas. Well, I wish you would've told me all this before I spent my Christmas bonus and all that junk over there. Thanks a lot. Merry Christmas. No, I, I... You look like 
by Santa! From scripture, God has caused light to shine in our hearts, the light which is the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Mysterious God, you come to us this season softly as a mother's sigh, as a startling as a cry of a newborn child. Come into our hearts, we pray, that we might be cradled in your love and stirred by your glory. We pray in the name of the one whose coming we celebrate, Jesus Christ, the Bethlehem child. Amen. Our first hymn is Angels from the Realms of Glory. This was written by James Montgomery. He struggled with depression throughout his life. He had a great loss in his early years. At the age of 12, his parents went off as Moravian missionaries to the West Indies. And they left him in a church school. He never saw them again. They died on the mission. He later became an editor of a newspaper and he championed the cause against slavery, and he was jailed numerous times. It is said that he was lifted from his depression while contemplating the marvel, the wonder of the incarnation, and that led him to write this hymn, Angels from the Realms of Glory. Watching long in 
in hope and fear Suddenly the Lord descending In His temple shall appear Come and worship Christ the newborn King Come and worship Worship Christ the Our psalm reading for this evening is Psalm 80, reading verses 1 to 7, and then 17 to 19. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who are enthroned upon the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Stir up your might as we come and come to save us. Restore us, O God, let your face shine, that we may be saved. O Lord, God of hosts, how long will you be angry with your people's prayers? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in full measure. You make us the scorn of our neighbors, our enemies laugh among themselves. Restore us, O God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved, but let your hand be upon the one at your right hand, the one whom you made strong for yourself. Then we will never turn back from you. Give us life and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and forever shall be, world without end. Amen and amen. Now we have a modern Christmas song called Adore. down from heaven humbly you came God of all creation here with us in a starlit manger i 
Our scripture reading for this evening is from Matthew, chapter 1, reading verses 18 to 25. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be pregnant from the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a righteous man, and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to divorce her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall become pregnant and give birth to a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had given birth to her firstborn son, and he named him Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we have a reflective uh, video. We've been having our couple the last couple of weeks in the evening, and here it's a continuing journey. Angels in the Bible almost always start out conversations with people in the same way. Fear not. Don't be afraid. Wait, I have good news. As awesome creatures of light sent with messages from the very lips of God, people occasionally have to be reminded not to worship them. Angels are warriors and musicians and supernatural servants of the Lord. 
But most of all, they are messengers, especially in the story of Christmas. And the news they delivered was somehow bigger even than these beings bringing it to Earth. A savior has been born. He is the Messiah. Glory to God in heaven, peace on earth to all those he is pleased with. It's the message God's servants still sing as we wait for the return of the King. We have our prayers of thanksgiving and concern. Let us pray. In this most holy season, we have gathered, O God, to celebrate the birth of the Christ child, to join our voices with the choirs of angels, to come with the shepherds to the stable and wonder at this Christmas miracle. With us, we bring the hurt and hopes of our world. In this season of excess, we remember all who are empty. We remember neighbors who are unemployed, whose dreams have been shattered and whose futures have been frustrated. In this season of carols, we remember all in our midst, who have little to sing about, all who are lonely, depressed, anxious, or sick. In this season of festivity, we remember all who face the harsh reality of oppression, prisoners, refugees, exiles, all facing torture, Yet through the shadows of our world shines the light of your promise. The angels' heavenly music floats o'er all the weary world. We pray for the church that we might be bearers of your light, singers of the angels' songs, and messenger of goodwill to all on earth. We pray for all in power and authority that they may be open to hear the glorious song of old with its message of justice and peace to all of humankind. For ourselves, we ask strength and purpose to live the love of Christmas. Emmanuel, God with us, Abide with us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I'd like to share another video. We've got a lot of videos at this Christmas time, and I've had to prune them down. You're not getting the whole bunch. But we ask for love. Is this video? We ask. We ask for love, and the world offers what it has, but it's fleeting and momentary. To find the love that lasts, we have to pass through the glittering town square and open the city gate. Walk toward the pastures of uncertainty onto a long, narrow road under a cold but starry sky into a barn that's never noticed into the manger that holds all of the love of God. See, we expected it at the big party under the extravagant tree beneath the biggest bow and the shiniest paper 
Instead, here it is, tiny, humble, helpless, offered. We kneel, overwhelmed. We almost missed you, even as we tried to celebrate you. Forgive us, Lord. Pour out your love so we can offer it to the world. Amen. As children turn to their mother who watches over them, let us turn to God offering the prayer that Jesus taught us. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us for this evening devotion. Um, if you've got any suggestions or comments, please uh, contact me. My email address is in the description in YouTube. And I wish you a blessed week. We'll now have O Holy Night, and then we'll have the benediction. But we close our devotion with O Holy Night. shining it is the night of our dear Savior's birth long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth a thrill of Rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, O oh, hear the angel voices.
May you have a blessed and a wonderful week. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you this night and forevermore. Amen. God bless. Have a good week. Thank you.